Hey everybody, Old Man Smithers here and welcome to the flying tutorial for Heroes and Generals. I've been trying to get this out for weeks, if not months, and something always came up to stop me from doing it. Uh, even this time, my wife caught the flu and then a couple of days later I caught the flu that she had. So there's going to be a couple places in here where I'm talking kind of quiet, try not to wake up the wife, and other places where I could have named this, you know, like progression of the flu virus and it would have been accurate because you'll see me get worse in every single video. So I apologize about that, but the content is there and I am putting it out. I mean, I'm done with this. No more perfection. I'm just going to get it out there in front of you guys and hopefully you find it useful. Now this thing is about an hour, and I know what you're thinking, oh my god, an hour? But flying ain't easy. You want easy, you stay on the ground. Flying takes skill, flying takes determination, flying takes practice. All right, takes a lot of practice, the other two not so much. But this will hopefully help you practice more efficiently. Uh, each chapter is about 10 minutes long, I'm not going to make you sit through a whole hour. Uh, but it is uh, covers like how to become a pilot. It's my number one question that I get asked in the servers. I want to become a pilot, how do I do that? We're going to tell you that. Ribbons and badges, what they do for you, uh, how you get them. We're going to cover bombing. Bombing is like super important in a plane because half of the plane deaths I see, besides the ones that go into trees, are because people bomb themselves. So we're going to tell you how not to do that. Uh, we're going to cover dogfighting. I've got two matches recorded where it's just basically me narrating a dogfight, one with HE, one with APCR. And we talk about how to use both of those uh, at, at least more effectively than I see a lot of people use them. Uh, and then we're going to talk about uh, like tips and tricks and playing comparisons, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Hopefully we're going to set some records straight. So I hope you get something out of this. Uh, it, it took a while to put together, but like I said, I've been promising it for a while, so I'm glad to finally get it out the gate. So with all that out of the way, let's get to it. In the first video of this series, we're going to answer the question that everyone always starts off with. How do I become a pilot? What you're looking at here is Shankafu Iron Pants. He's my infantry stabby stabby guy. He's got the penetrator. And Shankafu wants to become a pilot. Now, luckily, Shankafu is already level 5. Once you hit level 4, if you look down in the left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see that level 4 unlocks the fighter pilot option. If he goes down to that particular area and selects the fighter pilot, a little box pops up. It says soldier career opportunity. This is where it gives Shankafu the opportunity to become a pilot. Now you'll notice there is a cost involved. It either costs 18,750 credits or 299 gold. Now obviously credits is the way that we want to go here for nine times out of 10. There is another opportunity to spend gold on a pilot. We're going to cover that in just a second, but you can see that the price really isn't that much. So unfortunately, Shankafu does not want to be a pilot right now. He wants to stay on the ground and stab people. He has pilot friends for uh, all the flying around. So we're going to go ahead and decline. Okay, now let's say that you have your character up to level four. People always ask, should I have my first character as a pilot? And most of the time I'll say no to that. And here's the reason why. Your first character, I would always say, make him infantry and keep him as infantry. Make another character, level that character up to level four, because it, it, guys, it doesn't take that long, right? Like a day or two of just grinding on skirmish maps and you're going to have level four, and that's doing things the slow way. But have that second character leveled up and then turn that second character into a pilot. Have a third character, level him up to level three, and then turn him into a tanker. But always keep that first character as an infantryman. First of all, it's because of the, the revenue coming in. You know, pilot, being a pilot isn't cheap. You have planes that need repairs because whenever you're first starting to learn how to fly, you're going to be face planting into trees, ground, buildings, other people's planes, hopefully not old man Smithers. You're going to be hitting everything that you possibly can when you're learning how to fly. And that costs money to repair your plane. If you have specialized ammo like HE or APCR, that costs money and you're going to want specialized ammo whenever you're up in the air because otherwise you're going to be just dog food for the other pilots. And it also helps whenever you're strafing ground targets and helping out your team. So that costs money. So whenever you first start flying, your pilot is going to be burning up your money. It's not going to be making you money. Later on, whenever you know what you're doing, you're going to be making a ton of money with your pilot. So don't worry about that. But whenever you're first starting off, you need some kind of income generator because otherwise you're going to end up broke. And if you have your pilot as your primary character with no infantry character, well, then the only way that you're going to make money is to do something different than what you have been doing. And unless you all of a sudden get better with a pilot, it ain't going to happen. So leave one guy as infantry. Just level him up. Just level him up as infantry. He'll be the one bringing in your money so your pilot can go and have fun and face plant into the ground. 
Uh, your infantry guy will also be able to get matches much easier than your pilot. Sometimes there's just no pilot matches. So rather than sit there and wait for the queue for five minutes, you can jump into an infantry game and still be having fun because that's what we're all here for, right? Same thing with the tanker. So level up another character, have him become a tanker, but leave that infantry guy as the same. Leave that infantry guy as the one that makes the money initially. And then after a while, your pilot's going to be making you a ton of money. So what we just discussed earlier was the slow way of getting a pilot. There is a fast way. It costs a little bit of gold. Uh, so, you know, if you have a little bit of cash laying around, you can sort of jumpstart your pilot career. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So here we have one of my German pilots. At the very bottom right-hand corner, there's the little faces down there. If you click on that, it'll bring you a list of all of your soldiers. So you can see all of my soldiers here. Most of them are U.S. I do have a couple of uh, newbie German guys on this account. Now we're going to scroll back up and at the very top it says click to enlist soldier. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Now remember earlier how I said that you could level up an infantry and make one a tanker and then get another infantry and level him up and become a pilot. This is where you purchase those extra infantry guys. Now you'll notice for a small cost, 7100 credits, uh, you can get just your run of the mill basic uh, private infantrymen, both for German and US, whichever side you're on. It's not a huge cost. Uh, this is where you get your newbie guys. Now, if you want something more than your average newbie guy, you can purchase Academy trained characters here. Now, Academy trained characters allow you to jump the grind, just completely dodge it, and you can go from private to lieutenant infantry or even major infantry. And lieutenants and majors come with a higher salary. They allow you to command uh, assault teams in the general's map outside the scope of this particular tutorial. But you can dodge all the time that it would normally take you to get there. Likewise, you can dodge directly to pilot or tanker or recon or paratrooper. Now there is a gold cost attached to these uh, jumps and there is, you know, a downside to academy trained characters like you knew there would be, right? Academy trained characters cannot swap to other classes. So if you purchase an academy trained infantryman, he will never be able to jump to paratrooper or to recon or to pilot. Likewise, if you buy a uh, academy trained pilot, that pilot will never be able to jump to a paratrooper or to an infantry or to recon. So whenever you purchase these, if you decide to do so, make sure it's what you want. Make sure you want a tanker, make sure you want a pilot because that's all these characters are ever going to be. One last thing, the pilots are not cheap. So as you can see, uh, the starter pilot is one cost, the lieutenant is even more and the major is, is a lot more. If you're going to purchase academy trained characters, I would go ahead and purchase the lowest rank possible because you're going to be flying with this guy. You're going to be learning how to fly. The experience is going to come naturally. All you really want is just the ability to fly. So if you buy a pilot, buy the lowest pilot possible. Save your gold, uh, then just get behind the cockpit and fly and practice and the experience is going to come naturally and you'll level this guy up before you know it. So that's it. That's the two easy ways to get a pilot. You can either grind your character up uh, to like level four. It takes about a day. Uh, grind him up and then do a career swap over to fighter. Just remember to have that primary character. To keep him as an infantry. Level up another guy. Uh, just showed you how to do that. The second way is you can buy an academy trained pilot. Uh, a little bit of gold. But if you're going to do that again, just remember, buy the lowest rank possible. The upper ranks really don't give you much that you can use right away. Uh, especially if you're just starting out, you're not going to have war funds for ATs. So get the lowest rank, uh, Bastian Borschart, which is my German pilot. I don't even use him that much. He was an academy trained. He started off at level zero. You can see where he is now. And like I said, I don't fly him that much. I mainly just use him for tutorial videos and to try out different things with uh, 109 so I know how to fly against them. I, I usually fly US. It doesn't take long, guys. So don't, don't drop all that money for a major, in my opinion. Do what you want with your money. But in my opinion, it's just not worth the money. Uh, get the lieutenant and you can just learn how to fly while you're leveling him up. Everybody wins, right? So I hope you learned something from this one. Uh, next video, we're going to talk about ribbons and badges. It's the, the, the fun stuff. This is the stuff that actually helps you out in uh, whenever you're flying, dogfighting, bombing, what have you. Uh, we are going to get to the flying soon, I promise. But for now, we're laying the foundations. So I'll see you next video. Oh, you like video games? I like video games too. In fact, I like making videos of video games. So if you like what you saw here and you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also catch me on Facebook, Twitter, or OldManSmithersGaming.com, all of which will let you know whenever I'm online and streaming. Also, make sure you check out some of the videos that we have here. We have other tutorials. We have some Let's Plays. It's just all about having fun. So appreciate y'all joining me. Hope to see you around.